Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to repair your flagpole if it was damaged or if you had to cut it in half to replace a pulley that had broken off like I did. I'm including this part just to show you what not to do. So PVC schedule 40 seems very strong, uh, that is until you try to use it in a flagpole. I actually couldn't find the perfect size PVC so I had to cut it down the middle and then PVC cement it back together. Um, it fit okay and I have actually used PVC to make a boat cover that has lasted me 10 years of heavy snow and wind and everything else but the problem was I didn't count on the wind fatiguing the pole and that back and forth with the wind is what actually caused the PVC to fail. <laughs> so plan B figured out that PVC was not strong enough um, and also that no fence posts have an outer diameter of the inner diameter of my pole, so... I had to go ahead and cut with an angle grinder a 3 8 inch line, well, the best I could, out of this. And then using just hose clamps, I clamped it down to close it up. I'm actually quite amazed at how easy this bends when I tighten down these hose clamps. There we go, close that right up. Now obviously these hose clamps <laughs> can't go inside the flagpole, so these are just here to help me get it started inside the flagpole and I'm going to use some silicone lubricant or lithium grease or whatever I can find um, to slide this into the base of the flagpole and then slide the top of the flagpole over this. Here I discover that I actually never took the plastic PVC out of the top of the flagpole. And I also shot extra self-tapping screws in here so that it didn't rotate or lift up at all. And then I put an extra hose clamp on there that I had uh, to try to make it watertight until I could paint it. Um, but yeah, this works and I didn't have to replace my pull just because my uh, pulley broke. So I hope this video helps someone and thanks for watching. America.